The Florida Department of Transportation is pleased to present information about the pedestrian boardwalk projects at Silver Springs State Park. New boardwalks will be constructed at Silver Springs State Park and will be accessible through the main entrance off Silver Springs Boulevard. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express concern relative to FDOT's compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting either Florida Department of Transportation's District 5 Title VI Coordinator, Jennifer Smith, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, The Land, Florida, 32720 by phone at 386 943 5367 or by email at jennifer.smith2 at dot or by contacting the FDOT statewide Title VI coordinator, Jacqueline Paramore, at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65. Tallahassee, Florida, 32399, by phone at 850 414 or by email at jacqueline.paramore at or by going to www.fdot.gov equal opportunity. Two projects will be constructed. The first will cross Half Mile Creek at the end of the Creek Trail near State Road 40. This 800 foot long boardwalk winds through cypress swamps. The other boardwalk is 500 feet long, will connect to an existing boardwalk on Ross Island and will cross over the Fort King Waterway to the south, providing access to the group campsites a 65 foot long bridge will cross the waterway. Both sides are partially located in archeological sites that are subject to oversight by the State Historic Preservation Officer. This slide shows the alignment of the Half Mile Creek Boardwalk. On the west or left side is the connection to the Creek Trail you see the serpentine weaving of the boardwalk through the trees and across the creek. On the east or right side, it allows expanding into lesser used portions of the park. A few small trees will need to be removed to allow room for the eight foot wide boardwalk. A main focus of this project was to limit impacts to the environment as much as possible. The design was carefully planned to require only a few number of trees to be removed in order to accommodate this improvement. At the Fort King Waterway site, a Lime Rock Trail will be provided in the uplands south of the waterway. Near the wetlands, the trail will become a boardwalk. A 65 foot single span timber bridge crosses the Fort King Waterway. At the north side or top, the boardwalk connects to the existing looping Ross Island facility. The bridge over the waterway will be 13 feet above the water to allow the park's new ADA accessible glass bottom boat to pass underneath. Again, a few minor trees will need to be removed. The same careful planning went into the design of this boardwalk as well and will only require a minimal number of trees to be removed. The boardwalks will be eight feet wide and made of timber similar to the existing Ross Island boardwalk. The new boardwalks are designed to be accessible to all users in accordance with the American with Disabilities Act or ADA. The railings will be 42 inches tall. However, portions of the railing will be lowered to 34 inches to provide better viewing opportunities to those in wheelchairs. The trail portions will also be eight feet wide and will be topped with lime rock to provide a durable and low maintenance surface.
Both project sites are partially located in archaeological areas of significance. This requires us to follow the protocols under Section 106 of the National Historic Preservation Act of 1966. The consulting parties included the Florida State Preservation Officer, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, and five federally recognized tribes of Florida. It was determined that this project will have adverse effects on this site. To resolve the adverse impacts, several requirements have been included in this project, one of which is the educational component. The FDOT will work with park manager Sally Lieb to develop and fund a Silver River Through Time interpretive signing exhibit. Earlier this year, we excavated 20 square meters or 215 square feet within the footprint of the Fort King Waterway Boardwalk on the south side of the Fort King Waterway. Over the course of 20 days, four excavation units were excavated measuring two meters by two meters or six and a half feet by six and a half feet. The four larger excavation sites were determined after completing 10 shovel tests to identify higher probability areas. You see here some of the work that was accomplished over the 20 days. More than 12,000 artifacts were recovered during the test unit excavation, including more than 30 lithic tools. In archaeology, Lithic terminology refers to a broad array of techniques for creating usable tools for various types of stone. The Florida Department of Transportation has made a commitment to construct these two projects from the top down to minimize any impacts to the archeological areas and artifacts. This means that all construction equipment will be on top of the boardwalk. Equipment will not be allowed on undisturbed ground within the construction site. A ground surface protection barrier will be used to protect undisturbed grounds within the archaeological sites. This includes staging and storage areas. To minimize impacts to the Silver River, best management practices will be employed for erosion and settlement control. These include installing turbidity barriers in the Fort King waterway, and Half Mile Creek to eliminate turbidity from pile installation and installing sediment barriers along the construction area to prevent any disturbed soils from entering the water. Design and permitting will be completed in fall of 2021. Construction is anticipated to begin in the fall of 2023 at an estimated construction cost of nearly $2 million. Construction is estimated to last about three months. The department encourages the public to participate in the Silver Spring State Park Pedestrian Boardwalk Project by submitting comments and questions. There are multiple ways to do this. Please use one of these three options to contact FDOT Project Manager Joseph Fontanelli. He may be reached by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by email at joseph.fontanelli, that is F-O-N-T-A-N-E-L-L-I, at dot.state.fl.us, or by phone, at 386-943-5234. Thank you for your interest and participation in this exciting family-friendly project. We welcome your input and encourage you to provide a comment.